Hello and welcome to Tech It Creative. Instead of continuing on with the kingdom, I'm going to the skies. Time to build a sky ship. Starting off with the engineering room. This is going to be 51 blocks wide by 63 blocks long. I came up with a random number just because the way I started off the first marker for the centre of the room. It's also helped me put in the drive or the main engine for the build a little bit easier. I'll get to that when I come to it. So right now I'm just putting in the floors. I'm going to skip ahead in a section where the partial roof and walls have also been completed along with this floor. And I'll start putting in the lights. Now I had to put in the lights very quickly because it was very dark once I put on even 50, I think it was 50 blocks along of the roof. Anyway, so here we are. Now this first one I'm putting in is for the main drive. On each side there are two circle circles extending out from the wall slightly. This, These are the lights that will show when the main drives are running. Now there is a core for this sky ship which provides all the power but these drives are what gives the core its fuel. In other words, this sky ship is self generating its fuel. Now I've started on the second side. I'll have these lighted up a bit earlier. However, they won't always be lit. Now I'm just putting in the normal lights. Normal lights white, then there are the warning lights which will be orange lamps and the danger red alert lights will also be included. I'm also going to put in an alarm system, though at this point I'm really thinking about just how I'm putting the lights in. Because I want every light to be lighting up the room, but at the same time not have all the lights on, depending on the phase the ship is in. I'm thinking of turning these two ships into a PvP map, so I'm going to put a few PvP areas into this while I'm building it. Now... A few of you may be thinking, if I'm building this like a battleship, I should be less with patterns and more with functionality. But I can't help it, you've got to make it look interesting. So I'm putting weird things in everywhere. Like, straight faces with two different colour eyes. Yeah, I didn't think of that when I actually put those in. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm putting in the red and the orange lights at the same time as the white. No, I'm finding it very difficult to figure out where I'm putting things as I'm moving to this dark area. Because I want there to be a pattern on either side, but I don't want it to look too, hmm, too much the same, I think is what I'm, the words I'm looking for. Now, to be truth, truth to be honest, Strange way to put it, I know. This was what took me the longest. Nothing that comes after it, it was just putting the lights in. As you can see, you can see a bit of the walkways in there. Now, they're not actually complete walkways, they're just marking out where the walkway will be. Once again, I'm coming up with a new pattern to put things in with. Now once I put in all the lamps, I chose to put in all the wiring without recording that as, well that was a very boring bit. And I do move the wiring around a lot, so the way it is right now is not the way it's going to be at the end. Also I don't put the alarms until the very end.
Right, so with the lights in, time to shift it up a bit. There we are, all lit up. As you can see, the rings of the cyan, they're lit up permanently, however, that will change. I've also now put in tiled plates to give it a shape coming away from the wall. Those are the two drives that power it. Now here goes the main core. I'm going to show this in the stages. I started off by bringing out the shape, adding the generators, which I chose to be geothermal, and I worked my way up. Started off with the bottom, added two layers above, then I started on the center. In total, there's 112 geothermal generators in this core. It took me a long time working out how to do it, but I finally got there. Now those energy storage units are not actually where I'm storing all the energy. That's stored above. Those were just the pre-phase before storing all the energy, somewhere for most of it to go first. Sort of buffer so I'm not completely draining my generators all the time. I might remove them later. So, once the core is in, as you can now see the central area, I moved into fitting the wires up to the roof. Now I'll put all the storage area above the engineering room because I felt having them all within the room would just take up too much space and look cluttered. And there it is. That's the layout finished. There was actually going to be more storage units added. But as you can see, this ship is capable of storing a hell of a lot of power. It's going to need to. It's got a lot of power in it once it's finished. Okay, so I've started building the outer walls of the core. I made the core's walls out of steel because... I felt I had to change it up from iron, make it look a bit different and stand out in the room. I went straight off and just made a box around it first. Then I gave it some style with a bit of lava and some lights. Chose a different colour, chose magenta lamps this time. Because I thought pink represents power a bit, don't it? So this is me putting in the walls for the lava chamber. Made it out of reinforced glass at first but then I changed it to standard glass because I wanted the connected textures and it doesn't seem to work with the reinforced. If it ever does work with reinforced I'll be sure to change them. Right, now I went with the magenta and started putting in the old lamps to give it some shape and design to the final facing walls. Now I went with magenta because it's a pinkish colour and in a lot of lore, pink represents power. So I thought, this is where all the power is coming from. I'll use the colour pink for magenta. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. I'm losing my marbles, I apologise. <laughs> Yeah, I really did just lose my marbles, what the hey. Now, it's quite amusing watching this back as I did it, because uh, I made a few mistakes and errors. Namely, right next to me right now. I completely forgot to put the glass around that column. Oh, well. Oh. And I completely forgot I did that. I didn't even put the lights in the right place. <laughs> Well, nervous laugh. <laughs> so I've quickly put the glass in here. And as you can see now, the reason I used normal glass was because with the connected textures, it just looks like a column of lava, but you can't walk straight into it. So no one's going to get themselves killed if they ever come on this map. Now I accidentally knocked out a geothermal generator there. Had to pull it back in. Bad times. Bad times. Yes, look. Very bad times. I have no idea where that came from. Gee.
Okay, so once I had it all done, I just wired it up and had it glowing. Nice and pink. I know it's magenta, but I just can't help but call it pink. Pink. Next thing I went on to were the doors. Right then, and now I've got the sliding doors in. As you can see, I've done it on a very, very basic redstone wire circuit to make it nice and easy. Bit of a delay, and also the lights go off. Whoops, trapped myself in there. The upside to this design is with the lights going off, you'll know on from the opposite side when someone else is coming through. Ups and downs. Right, to finish off now, all I'm going to do is put in the roof, then finalise with the lights and the railing for the walkway that's above. I also need to put in the steps or ladders I haven't decided yet for getting up there. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, so I quickly started and put in some more white lamps in the roof. After finishing that, it was difficult here because that was where I really started just making a pattern. I've never been good when it comes to designing stuff on roofs. First things first, wire it up. Now I'm using white insulated, white wall insulated redstone cable because with the other two cables being in, I need to be able to keep it all organized. Now later I just decided to use cable bundles and then use the colored cable when necessary. It's all controlled at the north point of this room where there are a bunch of switches currently put on with signs but I will eventually change that into computer terminals saying what they do if I can if I can figure out how I've never used computer terminals so if anyone can tell me how to do it that'd be great alright so here I finish off the old walk paths Now I seem to find myself going backwards quite a lot on this map. Doing this little build, it was kind of a nightmare. Putting some lamps here to create light below so I wasn't blocking out any. And in order to cover them up, I just placed blocks over the top and made a little bit of a step up area. Lit them in the middle but hid it from view by using the panel blocks. I wasn't really thinking there. Alright, so we were lit up. I just kept on with the walk path. Raised up a little bit. Used stone brick steps. As I felt that most fits in with the iron look. And also will hopefully fit in with the stylization I'll use once I get round to the point of decorating this room. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch with the boredom of how many times I experiment decorating this. But you will see what it looks like. So, with this bit done, I'm just going to skip on ahead and decorate. Okay, so it's all finished now. So, let's take a look. I've got all the iron fencing in, the walkway's finished, steps over, added a bit of extra lights, and the alarms are in as well. I've got coolant running into the core, so I'm going to keep it calm. And. Well, there's floor panels down. Whoops, down here. Also, I came up with these. Look for the stairs up. Side stairs would be better. A little bit of glowstone to light the place up, and everything's finished. Now outside. Whoops. 
I've switched it to the cable bundles, made it a lot easier to do, and the energy storage now reaches the end of the engineering sector. I might make it a bit longer, I haven't decided how much energy I want to store yet. Yeah. Last but not least. Whoops, I can't even get through my doorway. Can't test out the lighting system. So, like I said, lights are up here. There's going to be a lot coming through here, so there's a few more areas for me to switch in. But right now, it's just the engineering lights, which are all the white ones. doesn't go that dark in here, thanks to the other things going, but if those were turned off, then it would be darker. The red alert. Red alert. Warning you now, if you're wearing headphones, take them off. And also... If you got your sound up loud, turn it down. This is annoyingly can can be very loud. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Damn. Yeah, that's bad. And finally, the warning lights. These are all the orange ones. And just like the red, they're all lit up with it. The alarms have their own lights on, so I'm kind of glad about that. Brightens up a little bit. But that's this area finished. I might put a bit more into the detail, but that will come at a later date. So, I'm Zafan. This has been Building an Airship, Tech It Creative. Ciao for now. Or adios, whichever you prefer. I'm holding a panel in my hand. Ha ha ha. See ya.